This is a big challenge. And the Governor's Commission on Marijuana opening its first session by defining the job ahead. Governor Scott signed an executive order establishing the panel and wants recommendations on the best path forward if Scott and the state legislature decide to move. Though the legislature appears ready to legalize homegrown pot for adults next year, the governor has questions around determining roadside impairment and keeping young people safe. The panel's first report due in January. We haven't gone around the table and said, how do you feel about legalizing marijuana? Because it's really not our charge. But I know from the people who are here and on the, and on the subcommittees that there are people with significant <laughs> concerns about youth and highway safety. And it will not be easy to persuade them and the people who feel like them that the legislature should go to the next step on legalization. But with neighboring states, Maine and Massachusetts, moving forward, retail pot shops opening there next summer, Governor Scott wants this commission to come up with a Vermont version by the end of next year recommending how it could work, how it be regulated, how much money it might generate. We do know in other states there has been a large amount of cash and that's a huge problem for us that we want to avoid at all costs. Still, after the commission's first day, well, I'm encouraged by the first meeting. It seemed very forward-thinking, very reality-based. The tone was, how should Vermont move forward? Not so much, should we or shouldn't we? For new members of this group, it's an issue that turns out to be surprisingly complex. A lot of questions to untangle in the months ahead. In Waterbury, Stuart Ledbetter, NBC5 News.